Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to connect our Facebook lead ads to our Beatrix24 to, uh, through the contact center. So first of all, you will need to have an active business Facebook profile. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to your, uh, to your Meta Business Suite and then we're going to look for our instant forms within the Meta Business Suite. So to do that, just click on all tools and just look for instant forms and you'll see them here, uh, which is what we have opened already. If you don't have any forms created in your Facebook and you want to create them, you can go ahead and do that. We'll leave um, a link on the explanation from Meta on how to create one. It's actually pretty easy. You would just click here and create form. But today we're not going to go into that too much. We're going to go into uh, more specifically how to connect the forms that you have already set up. First of all, you're going to need to connect your CRM to uh, Business Facebook. So in this case, Beatrix, as you see, we have this connected already. It's very easy to connect. Again, we're not going to go too much into this, but we are going to leave a description in the description of this video exactly how to make that connection. It's very easy uh, to follow the steps. So we'll put that in the link. So once we've connected the CRM, which is Beatrix, then we're going to be able to connect our Facebook lead ads. So the way that this is going to go is we're going to click here on Facebook lead ads and we're going to create a new form. Keep in mind, you're going to have to create um, a new form for each form that you have over here in your Facebook list of forms. So each one we're going to have to do separately. So we're going to do just one example right now so that you understand, uh, but you will need to do this for each, each form that you have created on Facebook. Once you have your new form open uh, to be created, you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna look for Facebook lead form. We're gonna click here, and this is gonna take us uh, to this window where we're gonna connect our Facebook. So we're gonna click here on connect. You can put in your company name, what your business vertical is, it's either services or e-commerce, uh, time zone, okay? And also your currency. This is not very important um, if your CRM forms aren't collecting any payments or anything. Um, I mean your Facebook forms. And I'm just gonna uncheck this, but you can check any boxes that are relevant to your case. So if you want your Instagram profile on there, you can put in the URL corresponding to that. Same for Facebook um, and a Facebook page, etc. For this example, this isn't very necessary. What we just want to do is connect the CRM forms from Facebook into Beatrix so that they can create CRM items like leads, deals, etc. So we're going to click next. This is going to take us to sign in to Facebook. And here um, you can log into your account. And it's going to take you through a small process of the connection of Beatrix24 to Facebook. It's going to tell you what permissions you're granting, etc. So we're going to click next. And it's very important you choose the correct business portfolio. You might have more than one. Please choose the one where you have your CRM forms. I'm sorry, your Facebook forms. And also select the correct page, right? Instagram profile, ad account, etc. And we're going to continue. And here we're going to be able to select what uh, we allow Beatrix to do. I personally recommend just clicking yes to everything. It's going to make everything way easier if in the future you want to connect Facebook chats or you want to connect Instagram. So it's just going to make everything much, much easier. If not, you're going to have to go back into Facebook and switch uh, those permissions on and it can be a little bit tricky as Facebook um, has a lot of different sections. So I just recommend clicking yes on everything. Once you have, you're going to click next and it's going to take a few minutes to link the accounts. Okay, so here we are all set. I'm going to click done. And once we select that, we are ready to connect the CRM forms. So here I'm going to select the page. So in this case, Ferguson Education Group, which is one of our clients there, very kindly letting us use their forms as examples. And here we're going to be able to select from the forms that we saw over here 
in our Facebook, Instagram, I'm sorry, in our Facebook instant forms. So all of these forms are going to be available for us to choose from and to create a CRM form um, that is going to collect the data from Facebook. So for example, we're going to select a PNG seminar in this case, and it's going to give us all the fields that are there on the Facebook form. And uh, if you have fields that already are related to the Beatrix CRM fields. So for example, first name and last name, we already have that in context. It's going to detect that automatically and connect it for you. If you have other fields that's not going to be connected, you must select the field and look for it uh, as you would regularly look for it somewhere in your CRM items. So you would go about and um, connect all the fields that you want to connect, then you would choose your CRM item. So if you want to create a deal and a customer or just a customer, an invoice or connect to a smart process automation or to a lead, right? So I'm going to select lead here. Remember, you can choose expert mode to um, uh, specify how you want to handle the duplicates. And you can also add hidden values if necessary. And here in other settings, you're going to be able to change the name of the form as you will see it here on the Facebook, I'm sorry, on the Beatrix side. So we're gonna say a Facebook form example, and you can select the responsible, and you know, these are additional features just like the regular CRM forms, and we're gonna save that. And once that is saved, it's just continuing to save here. Give it just one second. Then we're going to be able to see it back here. I'm just going to go back to our contact center. And now that we're back at the contact center, you'll notice that the Facebook lead ads square is going to have a green check mark. That means that it's already connected. And if we open the forms, we're going to be able to see that form that we just created now that we linked to the form that was existing on Facebook. So it's super easy. Again, you would need to do this for each each form that you have on Facebook just by clicking add and you would go through the exact same process uh, but the connection is already there you're not going to need to go in and make the connection again um, just choose the form that you want to tie to Beatrix that's all so very simple very, my, very easy to do my friends again we're going to be leaving some useful links at the description of this video just in case you need to go over something or you need to create a form from scratch on facebook or you need help setting up the connection of uh, beatrix to uh, facebook thank you for watching 